Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and this review is on the Metallic Scorpion action figure. This was part of the Spider-Man line that was compatible with Marvel Legends, and it was made by Toy Biz. A while ago, Devil's Toys UK2, I'll have a link in the description, he had the regular colored Scorpion, and I said I had the Metallic one, and I gave away the old uh, Scorpion I had. Because I thought this uh, metallic one uh, looked better. And uh, if you want to see what the regular Scorpion looks like, uh, it'll probably be a video response uh, with his video and having the regular Scorpion action figure. But this is the metallic one. And the differences here are the paint job is a metallic green. And he has a full face mask covering the mouth area. Because in the early issues of... Uh, Spider-Man Scorpion had his mouth covered. I thought it looked more comic accurate, just a little better, this action figure. And this is the one I decided to put in my collection and display. Uh, it looks really great. Just want to show you the detail. You could, If you could try to see the paint job, it's a metallic type of green. I'm going to show you the face here. You can see the eye area, but the whole mouth area here is covered up and you see the teeth. And uh, on the body there's like little rivets that you could feel. That's uh, some nice attention to detail. Uh, and just this color it's sort of black, uh, but there's a little greenish, maybe a dark greenish to it. This is all metallic. Even the tail here, it's a metallic color green. The gimmick it has is these missiles are the same. They're not metallic. And uh, you put a weapon here, and you press the button here, and it's gonna shoot out. But I don't think it looks good if you have a missile like that. It stands out bad. So it's supposed to have no missile. You can't even tell and it has a hook end. For those who don't know Scorpion, he is uh, one of the original Spidey co-creators uh, villains that was made. And Scorpion originally, he really was a tough uh, Spider-Man foe in the first uh, few issues you saw him. He really took Spider-Man to the limit uh, in terms of being a villain. He was one of the few villains that was as strong or stronger than Spider-Man and gave Spider-Man a really tough time. But ever since the 60s, I thought as a character, uh, this guy, the Scorpion, has been downplayed and he never really achieved like top Spider-Man villain status like at that upper level. Sort of like a, a mid-card uh, player in terms of being a villain. Uh, kind of a shame because uh, if you see the first few appearances this guy really can uh, take Spider-Man to the limit and since scorpions are natural I think enemies of spiders that's also theme wise why uh, Scorpion was chosen. As you could tell here his big gimmick besides super strength is this control of his tail and it's pretty nice that this material you do have some bendable uh, plastic that it can be spun around and stuff. Articulation here, at least on my figure, got a little uh, weak over the years. But it is an articulated figure. You can turn the head side to side. You don't get too much up and down, but nice side to side. Uh, shoulders here, ball jointed. You've got the in and out. You got the up and down, you got the upper bicep articulation. Uh, this is a double elbow articulation. Uh, you got a right here at the lower forearm, you got that. You can spin that around. You got the in and out at the hand, and these four fingers are articulated. And look at that, the hands are claw like and sharp. Same thing here, you can spin that here, wrist in and out, uh, fingers one point of articulation but 
claw-like and sharp upper body here can go side to side no real up or down just side to side and waist articulation kind of weird that they gave that because this is so low that could serve as waist articulation but they gave you both ball jointed hips here up and down uh, side to side upper thigh cuts here uh, you can't turn that it's a little stiff on this one you got the double knees articulation here you got the articulation right above the boot area here and at the feet can go up and down and you got toe articulation uh, really articulated action figure really uh, really fierce looking uh, villain scorpion uh, I think this metallic version is just a little better than the regular version but that's just uh, my opinion on it uh, because the green it really does uh, shine I mean they did a really good uh, paint job on this action figure this metallic green uh, you usually don't see that type of action figure or color uh, in a display for metallic colors and so this will stand out and uh, if you got a spider-man figure I think scale wise uh, it's really good it fits in well and uh, can't lose with this action figure so thanks for watching and talk to you later first spider-man then Jonah no wait a minute Jonah first then Spider-Man. How about Spider-Man first?